what we're experiencing right now are the extremes, either flooding events and extreme flooding events or droughts, and they tend to be more extreme droughts. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? The same solutions cure both of those problems. So if we rebuild the biology in the soil, <clears throat> in that biology in the soil, like mycorrhizal fungi and so forth, they create biotic glues that aggregate soil particles and create pores in the soil and turn our soils into what they should be, what they were intended to be, giant sponges yeah. that allow the soil to be able to infiltrate all of this rain and retain that. So if we're getting a lot of flooding, then, or, or we're getting heavy rainfall events, excuse me, then we have far, far less flooding because our soils can absorb and hold and retain that water. For every 1% increase in organic matter in the soil, an acre of soil can hold another 25,000 gallons of water. Now think about the impact that can have on mitigating flooding events and that harm for runoff going out into the Gulf of Mexico here. But the same thing occurs during drought conditions. If we can significantly re hold and retain more water, then even when it turns off hot and dry, the droughts are far less severe. And we're seeing that. We're even noticing that, for instance, in the deserts, our work in in, in the deserts of the Southwest US and Mexico, like in the Chihuahuan Desert, has shown us very clearly that we can significantly alter these arid conditions. And we can even change the microclimate. We have direct evidence now, Mark, of that. <laughs> and, and we are on the ranches that we're working on down in the Chihuahuan Deserts in Mexico. The climate has actually physically altered on those ranches and they're actually getting far more rain than they ever got before whereas their neighbors are not literally rainstorms are popping up and occurring directly on these ranches why because the yeah why because the plants actually create yes. moisture in the air right so rainforests aren't rainforest because it rains the forests actually create the rain right that that's exactly right